Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. It's the 9th of May, 2014. This is your video blog of the day. I'm going to tell you something that will, I'm sure, have a dramatic effect on you because you should have been told it. Here we go. First of all, no adult, no teacher, no person in charge of a younger kid should ever teach the kid or tell the kid anything that they themselves don't fully understand. And I mean fully understand. Don't go around pretending like you know shit and influencing the young minds of the future with your bullshit because you're older or because you have a fucking title. Listen, I know enough people who are teachers at school who are mentally more fucked up than any kid they know themselves. Straight up. Straight up. Listen, if you don't know anything about what you're talking about, if you don't know about God, if you don't know about heaven, if you don't know about hell, because you don't know, just because you were told doesn't mean you know, then shut the fuck up when it comes to talking about it around a kid. Have a conversation around adults. Adults who have a mind that has been formulated and they can have a dialogue with you and have their own point of view. But a poor, innocent child should not be subjected to your bullshit because you don't know, do you? Now, we as a generation are suffering for that also. Because we were told shit as if it was real. I'll give you an example. We were told that Christopher Columbus discovered America and they had this great feast and we should be very thankful on Thanksgiving for the great whatever the fuck bullshit was. You remember. Well, guess what? That's a fucking lie and it should not be pushed as the truth by adults. And then we come to the problem of, well, what if you're a school teacher and you have to teach that? Then you have an ethical obligation to not teach that or not be a goddamn teacher or teach somewhere that doesn't teach that, okay? You figure it out. Which brings me to this point. What I don't understand a lot of times is how people, regular people, you and I, just like you and I, they have a job as a police officer or as an army or something, right? And they go out and they hurt innocent people and they step on their rights and they're like, and they, they say, well, I'm doing my job. Or maybe they're a social worker and they're like, well, I have to take the kid away from you. I don't really want to, but I have to. You don't have to. You don't actually have to. You actually can do something else. Or... Animal control is another one that I've seen. Now, of course, I'm making a general statement, and there's exceptions to the rule. There's there's incredible police officers. There's incredible teachers. There's incredible people helping all the time, okay? And that's, I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about the majority rule, right? They, animal control, or uh, where they come and take your animal away from you. Or another one is I was watching this Cesar Milan show, and the lady was like, she was the one that would choose which dogs to be put to sleep, in the in the um, SPCA, whatever the fuck they were doing. And she was like, it's very difficult. It never gets easy. And Cesar Milan was like, you're the one that chooses them? She's like, yeah. She goes, but it's difficult. Like, bitch, you're not to do that. But here's the excuse people give. Well, it's my job. Really? It's your job? Get a new job. Get a new job. Figure it out. Figure it out. There's no excuse for acting evil onto your fellow man. There's no excuse for acting evil on innocent creatures. There, you can't say it's your job. You can't. It's not acceptable. It's not acceptable. Do you get it? If you have a job like that, you need to reevaluate it. I don't care if you go hungry for the next two weeks. Get another fucking job. Don't do shit that you know is wrong because it's your job. Are you kidding me? That's some bullshit. All right. Believe it or not, that's the, not the main point of this video blog. The main point of this video blog is this. You don't have to be who you're being right now. Listen again. Listen again. This is very freeing. You don't have to be who you're being right now. Maybe who you're being right now 
is a idea of what other people thought you should be. Maybe right now you're being somebody that your parents thought you should be, right? You went to all these years of college and schooling and all that because to make your parents proud. You made your parents proud, but you made yourself fucking miserable. How was that one? Okay? One of the things that my mother said to me one time was, Arash, there's one thing I ask of you. If I died, there would be just one thing I would want from you, son. I said, what is it, mom? She said, I want you to graduate college. I was in the car with her. I said, mom, that is not going to happen. And that was a heavy burden to put on a fucking 19-year-old at the time. It's not going to happen. And it didn't happen. But now she's very proud of me. And now she wouldn't have it any other way. Well, guess what? You can't go around being what other people want you to be. You have to take a listen to yourself. And I'm here to tell you, you can change who you're being. That means you could change your attitude too. Sometimes we're stuck in these weird attitudes because people expect us, well, I'm, I've always been shy. Well, maybe... You don't want to be shy. Maybe you want to be outspoken. Maybe now it's time to do it. Well, I've always been the kind of person that... Well, maybe you don't want to be the kind of person that... So I'm telling you this. You have the ability to change who you are. It's coming from somebody who's constantly changed who he was to become more aligned with my own life, my own purposes, my own goals. Obviously, my family, my friends didn't want me to look like this or sound like this. Now it's cool. But it wasn't cool when I was doing it, right? Obviously, they didn't want me to say, fuck school, fuck marriage, fuck all the bullshit they tell me. Obviously, they wanted me to be a good little boy so that Santa can bring me some fucking gifts to fuck Santa Claus again. You can change who you're being. And you actually don't need anybody's permission. Now, let's go over this. You have to be an adult. And two, you can't go around hurting other people. That's, that's not a permission granted. You have to do things that are survival. Okay? You know if you're listening to me, this is part of it. This is part of it. I'm not giving random permission to a bunch of fucking idiots to do whatever they want. I'm telling you, if you're a good person, if you have goals and dreams and aspirations, maybe you feel like you're stuck, you don't need to be. You can change who the fuck you are. And it starts with a decision. Then it takes a little bit of courage. But God damn it, it's worth it. Because before you know it, this life is going to be over and you're going to look back and you're either going to have done what you need to do or not. And if anybody's trying to sell you this bullshit, which is like... There's a purpose to life that... What's the purpose to life, motherfucker? Why don't you tell me? Why don't you tell me, you enlightened one? Since you know... Tell me what I'm supposed to be doing. And when you recognize that there really isn't one, then you're free to make up your own meaning for it. There is no fucking meaning to life. Don't fall for that bullshit. That's part of the reason you're suffering. It's part of the reason why good people are suffering. Good people are walking around trying to find meaning to life, okay? Listen... There is meaning, but it's the meaning that you give it. Get that again. You are the sole authority in your life. When you want to know who's, the, who's running your life, or you want to know who is the authority, go look in the mirror. Now, you may not be exercising your authority, so other people are exercising it on you. But the moment you exercise your own right to your own life, then you are in charge. Do you understand that? Now, this doesn't mean it's going to be easy, but I'm willing to bet you don't have a very easy life right now, do you? I'm willing to bet there's still suffering in your life. So if you're going to suffer, you might as well suffer for some real shit that means something to you. None of us on this planet are walking around with rainbows and sunshines and shit. If people are saying that, they're lying. Okay? That's just not the condition of planet Earth. It's just not the way things are. So you're going to give some meaning to your life and you're going to make some shit happen. And I'm here to tell you, you're not stuck in any kind of identity. You could make a fucking change for yourself. And I highly recommend that if you're miserable in your life, you take a look and you ask yourself, what is it you really want to do? And you start taking some action towards it. This is IMC Nation, baby. Arash motherfucking Deep Bazaar. Peace.